Hi, my name is Chris Richard. I'm here from Horizon Science Academy in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. And I'm Jeremy Rodriguez. And we're about to demonstrate to you guys the T-Bot 2. So, a robot is something that performs human movements or initiates and repeat tasks that humans do. Uh, sometimes, most robots are programmable and most just work automatically. Uh, and some also work not, not that. Anonymously? Is that the word? Uh, uh, autonomously. 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 It's a big word. Alright, uh, robots can do a variety of things that us humans can't do sometimes. Hydraulics. This robot works on hydraulics. As you can see the water flowing from the tubes that it moves the robot. Hydraulics is a system of movement. You need to use uh, oil or water or even air. You can test how strong you can be. Pushing on one end of the syringe fills up the fills up the water, and that makes makes it go hydraulics. As you can see, I can move around, up, down, anything you like. This creates an equal and opposite reaction on the other syringe. As you can see here, as you can work with the head. Okay. Um, this these these syringes work on axis. And the whole T bot works on axis, like the the yellow is connected to the base, which uh, moves it. Um, the green one is connected to the the joint a joint of a leg. The, the forearm, yeah, which makes it move up and down. Uh, the <coughs> the red the red one is connected uh, to the to the hand, basically, which makes it grab things. Let's open it up here. Okay. And you can see by this demonstration, we're using a lot of hot to use this. Also, there's uh, T bot works on levees. Levees are far as like a levee arm, and it's a pivotal point. Also, it's called the fulcrum. The T bot has a third class levee in it. Each of it has four axes of motion. A third force applies anywhere between the fulcrum and the load. Sure. Yeah. As you can see, I can pick. I'm able to pick up large and heavy objects. Now I'm going to show you how he's going to pick this object up. Okay. And also, if you have if you have air in the uh, tubing, it's hard to work. It's much better if you add liquid to all of it to me including the syringe and the tubing because otherwise the air uh, messes with it. Yeah, it makes it very hard to use. And you can see in other demonstrations there, other people's tea box with less air work uh, way quicker and easier. Each color represents a part of the robot to use and move around. Jacob Rafferty to the office, please. Jacob Rafferty to the office, please. Yeah, yeah, lifting the crap from yourself up. As you can see by this demonstration, I'm able to drop it at any time and point it while just pulling the syringe. Pull the red one? Yep, as you can see. And I drop. And you, know, you can also pick up heavy objects. Um, I believe water can lift almost 200 grams. Yeah. And my name is Chris Richard, and thanks for watching the T-Bot demonstration from Horizon.